there is a certain bit of an eerie, awkward resemblance between the two of us. Um, not only does he sport the same hands as I have, which so far, is, as I'm concerned, is fine, but the face is a bit of a different story. Um, I was told at a very late state of the uh, development of the program that it will sport um, a silicon replica of my face. All this technology that you see in this, in this artificial body, especially the processes, they are very useless if they don't interface with a living human being. Channel 4 was looking for a host who would have a bit of an emotional attachment to the subject and who would also shed some light on the not-so-technical aspects of the project in terms of what does it mean for society at large, what are the ethical implications of this technology. Now, since I'm not only a social psychologist, but I was also born without my lower left arm and sport a hand prosthesis myself, they thought that I was a good fit. The fact that the bionic body sports my face is really awkward for me. I have to admit, when I first saw it, I had a very negative emotional reaction. First of all, the entire body, I think, looks rather scary. It looks like something from a very dystopian future. But on top of this kind of evil-looking machine, let's face it, it's my face. Um, but then again, it's not really my face. It's something that's a very close resemblance to my face, which is just this tiny bit off that I find somehow very, very unsettling. On the one hand side, we're sending out a very optimistic message, and that is technology is more and more able to make disabilities a thing of the past, really. So that is something that's very optimistic. On the other hand, the more complex and advanced these technologies get, the more expensive they end up being in the end, to a point where many people who need these processes or want them are unable to afford them and will not receive funding through a health insurance which creates all sorts of other ethical implications. Will there be a market for this? Will people start taking out loans uh, for getting the bionic technology that they need or even might want at some point in the future?